The iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max are Apple's latest and greatest and they come with a premium price tag. So comparing the equivalent variants of both these devices, there's a substantial 15,000 rupees price difference between the Pro and Pro Max with the price difference being a whopping at 25,000 rupees if we also factor in the fact that the 15 Pro also has a 128 GB version. Having said that, if size is not a concern for you and you're okay with using the 6.1 inches or a 6.7 inch phone, as long as it is a pro iPhone, what kind of endurance difference are we looking at uh, between uh, both devices? I mean, yes, the 15 Pro Max will always last you longer than an iPhone 15 Pro in terms of battery life, but by how long? And is that extra endurance worth the extra money? Let me try to answer this for you. Hello everyone, I'm Ani of Fiber by India today and this is the ultimate 6 hour fiber style battery drain test comparison between the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max but of course before we get on with the rest of the episode consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, Let's get started. As always, we are going to boot up both devices and since they are powered by the same chipsets, they boot up side by side and very fast. So for the test, I will be keeping the brightness and audio levels set at 50%. Always on display and true tone are also enabled. The screen is set to adaptive 120Hz mode by default and of course the battery is 100% charged. Now as far as talking about the difference between both displays here, well, there aren't any when it comes to the quality because the only difference here is the size that is 6.1 inch on the 15 Pro and 6.7 inch on the 15 Pro Max. Of course, the resolution is also slightly different although both phones sport the same 460 PPI in terms of sharpness. Overall, uh, these are quite sharp and visually appealing panels. I mean, I can go on to say that while Samsung manufactures these uh, OLED displays for Apple, the tuning itself done by Apple engineers is class leading. I mean, simply look at these displays and you realize, yes, Apple is charging a crazy amount of money for these smartphones, but the final thing that you get in your hands is unrivaled. By the way, the displays are crazy bright as well with typical 1000 nits brightness and 1600 nits brightness if you play HDR videos and go out in the sun and the panels can hit a whopping 2000 nits. Long story short, if you want the best displays on any smartphone right now, look no further than the iPhone 15 Pro series. Personally, I prefer the large canvas of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but uh, fans of compact smartphones will also appreciate the beauty of the display that you get on the iPhone 15 Pro. Anyway, we are done with two hours of YouTube video playback and right now the iPhone 15 Pro Max is in the lead with 92% battery left, while the iPhone 15 Pro has 88% battery left. Interestingly, the iPhone 15 Pro Max not only turned out to be more efficient number wise, but despite having the larger canvas and more pixels to push, overall in the two hours of YouTube video playback, the 15 Pro Max turned out to be more efficient. But anyway, we have already started the 1080p video recording round and while the phones are at it, here are the camera specifications. So both the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max have almost the same set of cameras that is a 48 megapixel primary rear sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and a 12 megapixel selfie snapper. In terms of the only difference here, the 15 Pro has a 12 megapixel telephoto camera that is a 77 millimeter lens offering a 3x optical zoom while the 15 Pro Max also has a 12 megapixel telephoto camera at a 120mm focal length offering 5x optical zoom. And of course, both phones here can shoot up to 4K 60fps videos from both the front and rear cameras. Now here are some of the camera samples shot on both the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. If you want to know more about these phones, you can check out our reviews, they are live on the channel channel and an in-depth camera review video is also in the works so if you don't want to miss that stay tuned to fiber and hit subscribe if you haven't already okay we are done with the 1080p video recording round and three hours have gone to the test and the gap has slightly been widened now the 15 pro max is of course still in the lead with 78 percent battery left while the 15 pro is trailing behind with 69 percent battery left 
Alrighty, time for some benchmarks and while the phones here have already started running Geekbench 6, a quick look at the hardware specifications. So the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max are powered by the 3 nanometer A17 Pro chipset coupled with 8GB RAM and up to 1TB storage with the Pro Max starting at a 256GB storage variant this year around, so no 128GB on the Pro Max. Anyway, the CPU compute score of Geekbench 6 is here and both these phones have given some insane numbers, unreal for an Android smartphone. Phone. I mean the scores are true for real world performance also, app opening times are fast, scrolling is smooth, browsing the web is stutter free despite running multiple tabs, basically the CPU is well capable to handle any sort of load. By the way, a first in our test, I also ran a GPU compute test, basically a more hard hitting Geekbench test to see how the GPU performs under heavy loads. For perspective, just know this is a very high score, totally out of bounds from an Android smartphone. And instead, it is very close to Apple's own M1 chipset, which is a laptop chipset, so crazy performance. And speaking of the GPU performance, the iPhone 15 Pros performed superb in Antutu as well, with the 15 Pro Max recording over 1.5 million, with the 15 Pro scoring slightly less but still way more than Android smartphones. Instead, in my previous testing, both iPhone 15 Pros scored above 1.5 million, but seeing the 15 Pros performance here take a slight hit, I believe this has to do with the heat management in the relatively compact body. Finally, in the 3D Mark Extreme Stress Test for top tier phones, both the 15 Pros scored superb loop scores across the 20 rounds with a stability of about 78% which shows for graphics intensive games, there is none better than the iPhone 15 Pros out there. Here's a breakdown of the benchmarks on your screens right now, you can pause and uh, take a look. By the way, we are nearing the 4 hours mark into the test and uh, before the gaming round, quickly uh, checking the battery statistics of both smartphones right now. So the 15 Pro Max uh, is still leading with 63% battery left and the gap is widening and widening because the iPhone 15 Pro is currently trailing behind with a 48% battery left. So if you've watched my review of the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max and you must be knowing what I'm about to tell you about the gaming performance on these phones. Still, to give a recap, the iPhone 15 Pros are the best phones out there for gaming if you seek throttle-free, lag-free, pure performance. Yes, while gaming they do get slightly warm, but let me also tell you that I haven't noticed any sort of abnormal overheating on my review units. Also, I can't wait to lay my hands on Resident Evil and Assassin's Creed games. And for now, I have been having a hell lot of fun playing Genshin Impact, lag-free at highest graphics with 120fps, something which I'm not able to do so smoothly on any available Android phone on the market right now. Having said that, running a game like Asphalt 9 Legends, which is quite graphics intensive in its own right, seemed like a piece of cake for the iPhone 15 Pros. However, the battery drain, at least going by the numbers, is pretty significant. Anyway, with 5 hours gone into the test, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is still in the lead with 44% battery left and uh, the 15 Pro is left with a 23% battery. Okay, social media time and so for an hour from here, I will be playing a bunch of reels on both phones but yes, without keeping you waiting for the final minute, fast forwarding to the 6 hours mark and to no surprise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max uh, finishes first with 37% battery left while the iPhone 15 Pro finishes with 15% battery left in the tank. Here's an hour by hour breakdown of the battery drain of both smartphones on your screens right now and a long story short, as you can see in the chart also, if we look at the battery drainage by MAH, both iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max drained about the same battery but because the 15 Pro has a smaller battery, in that case the extra 1200 mAh on the 15 Pro Max will surely give you that much needed longer endurance. But honestly if you need more endurance just get the iPhone 15 Pro Max for the extra 25,000 rupees more. Because if you would ask me I would any day live with the iPhone 15 Pro's battery and put that extra cash into something else. But yes guys that's about it for this battery drain test comparison between the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let me know your thoughts as well as to what do you think will you put in that extra money for the extra battery on the 15 pro max or will you be okay with the iphone 15 pro let me know everything in the comments below and as always for all the latest in tech stay tuned to fiber i'll catch you all in the next one thank you for watching love the video 
Well, motivate us by hitting the like button and if you want to see more of such tech content then definitely visit Fiber with a double I by India today and while you're at it you can also hit that red subscribe button and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates.